don't know if you guys saw the previous video where I forced uh, forced storm, but that kind of got me a little frustrated and angry, and I want to try to force storm again and see if I could do better than a one-two record. Uh, unfortunately, I came into a pretty bad pack again to try to force storm. Uh, it's like deja vu all over again. There's a mana drain here, and uh, I think I'm just gonna take the mana drain again and see how it goes. Like, there's a ritual, force of will, drop island that I think could wheel to us. And here is the promise I'm gonna make to you and everybody else. If I don't get any storm cards in the first pack, and one of these three red cards gets there, we're gonna take it, and uh, we're just gonna go mana red and see if we could just burn people out, just burn them. And uh, okay, we got the mind desire, sweet. Mm, just gonna take it. Uh, I think part of drafting a gimmick deck like Storm is that we're supposed to wheel the cards like Mind's Desire late since uh, no one wants it but the person who's going to go into that deck but I don't want to give the other guys in this draft the idea that they could go for it so uh, and this pack let's face it is really stock full of really powerful cards I think the Cryptic Command the Nightmare the Tooth and Nail those three would be the next picks then you could do the Planeswalkers Disc O-Ring, Beast Within, so it's still guaranteed that the Mind's Desire is going to come back, and we're just going to take this in. Besides, there's nothing really good mono red that we could take here. So, yeah. Okay, and, uh, oof. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to mention this every single time I see this card. This card is literally the best card in two archetypes. The Natural Order deck, the Green Ramp deck, and the Reanimator deck. This card is obscene. Uh, it wrecked us in the second round of our last draft when we were doing Storm. And uh, I'm never glad to see this here. Uh, we're going to take the Impulse here. And we're going to be happy to wield either the Simic Signet, Call the Herd, maybe a Dual Land just for splashing. But Impulse it is. Okay, okay. It's the leftover four cube ticks from our last draft where we got our butts kicked. I don't even care who won. Screw you. How dare you beat me. <laughs> uh, here we got a pack full of nothing again uh, nothing for a deck that is I guess we could protect blue by taking the Vendillion click but I think uh, I'm gonna go, go take the Liliana uh, Liliana Vest here uh, we don't have to go green blue and Black's tutoring might be really good in Storm. So we're going to try it out with uh, Black Blue maybe this time instead of the Green Blue. And see how that works out. And uh, this pack is uh, full of good stuff. Uh, the cards that speak to me, of course, are going to be the Thran Dynamo, the Watery Grave, and Forest Storm deck. The Preordain. Uh, the good thing is none of, the, none of these cards really devastate our strategy, except for maybe firing off for the Chromos Vengeance. But uh, hopefully by then we... Had enough stuff to uh, to combo off. I think it's gonna be the preordain here. Although I really want to take this Thran Dynamo. You know what? I'm gonna take the Thran Dynamo preordain while premium one casting cost cantrip. I, I like the idea of mana more than that, so we're just gonna take that. And uh, this is ten packs in. Let's see, what will be the last cards here? It's gonna be the restock. The Mana Tithe, and the, probably, and the Frantic Search, and the Obliterator. There's just too many bad cards in this stupid pack for us to be able to uh, reliably re wheel a Frantic Search if we don't take this. Uh, there's a Fetch Land here. We could do. I'll destroy the Tree Speaker. It's way too late here. Uh, I'm just going to take the Tree Speaker. We might abandon the Black. This is Green Soul Ring. Uh, I can't imagine it not being good in the storm deck, so we're just gonna take it. And uh, hmm. solemn or fetch land. I, mean, I got no dual lands, but I think you have to take the fetch lands in hopes of getting the dual lands, right? But I think the pick is gonna be solemn. Gives us a blocker, fixes our mana, accelerates us. So it does everything we wanted to. Uh, yeah. So we might go three colors: green, blue, black, bug. Uh, Usually green blue is the color I go to most often for storm. I've only drafted storm uh, thrice. Uh, the blue is for the mana acceleration and the color fixing, and of course the heartbeat of springs. 
The blue is for the storm itself. And I want to see if like blue red could work with the rituals or the black red could work with the black blue, excuse me, could work with some of the tweeter effects and the rituals, but I don't think I'm gonna get a chance to. I think the clear pick here is we're gonna hate draft Thalia. We can't beat Thalia. Like they slam turn two, turn three, turn whatever for Thalia. I just look at them and go, okay. My deck has just gotten that much worse. And uh yeah, we're just gonna hide it. No Thalia for anybody. Alright, uh, we got a dark ritual and a channel. Question is, which one is going to be better for us? Huh. This is a real good question. Is Chow better than Dark Ritual? I'm going to take the channel. I don't know. It just feels like it might be more powerful. It might net me more cards. I could be wrong. I don't feel comfortable or confident in saying Dark Ritual or Channel is better, but I think Channel might be a little bit better. Just much more of a powerful effect. <coughs> uh, I'm going to take the Is It Boiler Works to bounce land. Even though we have nothing red, it's just good to have. Oh, jeez. What's a Terrastodon doing here? This card gets. This, this card deserves a lot more respect than this. In fact, if I had known this was going to wheel, and I thought there was a 0% of chance of that, I was just taking the stupid uh, tooth and nail and put that in, just as like a super duper plan B, but no. I'm going to take the Johnny. Just hate picking here. Nothing nothing to see here. Uh, we might sideboard this in, so what the guy. Alright, then uh, the boiler works is uh, working. Okay, we didn't get the frantic search. I thought the mana tech was going to wheel, but the restock is, I guess, fine in this deck. We didn't really get to see much black cards except for the ritual. And I don't think most black drafters would want to take the ritual. So I think we might be in the two colors that we want to be in for this. And every time I say that, I get to see a new pack. I need to uh, time my talks better, I think, for this. Uh, I want to take the Trinket Mage, but there's nothing we can tutor up for. We can get any Moxes, which is a shame. I think I'm going to take the Birds of Paradise. It's one mana, color accelerating, fixes all the colors. And it could chump block, so we're going to take that. I think the pick order for the Mind's Desire deck is Acceleration. It's going to be Card Chomp, Acceleration, and then Storm Spells, believe it or not. I think that's the proper order to get things in. The reason why I say that is that if someone else is in Storm, if two people are fighting for the Storm cards, you're, you're screwed. Uh, there's no way you could salvage that draft. You're just going to lose. Uh, the card draw, I think, is necessary to get like the proper number of spells in your hand, a threshold of spells in your hand, in order to play that. And the mana acceleration and development is important so that you can play the number of spells you need to play. But if you have enough good spells like Turnabout and stuff like that, that shouldn't be that much of a problem. Uh, I think the pick here is going to be a Snapcaster. I think no one's going to take a Turnabout unless they're doing... Uh, storm themselves and if that's the case we're screwed anyway so we're just gonna take that and hopefully it'll wheel to us uh this pack i think it's another clear example that we're gonna take the grim monolith we need to build a, like a threshold of lands in order to fire off all of our spells and this helps us get there uh, we're gonna hope that the gifts gifts of given comes back to us and okay we're getting a lot of blanks here uh that's quite disappointing I think the pick is going to be the Everflowing Chalice. Again, we need to fire off enough lands to make a threshold in order to do all of this. Uh, the cards <clears throat> that we're missing right now for a deck right now is a card draw. We have none. Uh, second card, second type of card we're missing right now is a Storm card, Wind card, which we see in Empty the Warrens. And the third card we need is like supporters. And by that I mean like Moxes, Upheaval, which is the only one of its kind in the entire cube with that kind of effect which allows us to bounce all of our stuff and replay them and redevelop our storm count uh, hmm. it's possible that it could wheel to us but i don't want to take the chance it's that important and this pack gives us stone cold nothing uh i guess we're going to take the wall of blossoms as a chunk blocker 
I mean, there's a force bike, but I don't think force bike is something we're looking forward to doing. Godless Shrine, no, that's not the wrong, that's the wrong tool, man. We could use blue, black, black, green, black, red, like those colors. Nothing with the white so far. Uh, we would also like to get something like a Rory's Wake or uh, Heartbeat of Springs, but I guess that's kind of the need for that's kind of been uh, neutralized a little bit, negated a little bit by the cards like Channel, which could get us a crap ton of land. So let's just hide this. <coughs> uh. Okay, so far so mediocre. We need card draw right now. We need we need to get past like compulses, careful considerations. Uh, Ancestral Recall would be nice. Uh, that's not asking for too much, is it? <laughs> okay, we're gonna take the Heartbeat of Springs. If not, we're gonna take the Awakening Zone. Creates jump blockers. Creates enough land stuff. Uh, this is gonna help us combo. I've only drafted a uh, Storm twice before. This time, uh, the second time you could see by looking at the MTG Noob channel, is she should have posted it up by then. Uh, the first time I didn't record it, I just did it because, well, the deck was kind of going really bad and I needed a way to salvage it and I just went into the Storm deck and uh, it got me a 3-0. Uh, it, it was really fun. Uh, even if I lose Storm, it feels like I'm doing stuff and there's ways I could have played it in order to have won. So... If you haven't drafted Storm before, I recommend drafting Storm once. Uh, we're taking the Harmonize just to uh, draw cards. It's not the blue draw card that we wanted. It's a green one, but really, who cares? Uh, like I was saying before, I recommend drafting Storm at least once. It's it's a blast. I recommend it highly. Uh, it's going to make you think about magic that you don't normally do with just attacks and blocks. Because you're kind of playing like a different game than a real game of magic. You're playing this weird, like, engine engineering robotic thing where you put together a machine that wins the game. Uh, I'm just going to take away the Goblin Ruminator to uh, not destroy one of our lands. So we're going to have eight fresh new packs to get cards in. All right, we got the turn amount that we wanted. Sweet. Uh, yeah. So we one of the packs we want definitely to get. Excuse me. Uh, a mox of some kind, any mox, diamond, chrome, power nine moxes. Uh, just gonna take away. I'm gonna take away the stunted wolf. I think that hurts me more than one of these artifact destroying spells. Oh, shoot, this is late. All right, we'll take it. Uh, we want to get a Mox of some kind. We want to get past an upheaval, because I don't think people are going to be passing us Moxes unless there's multiple pieces of power, or the person doesn't really value Moxes. And I think everyone values Moxes. Uh, we want an upheaval. We want some more card draw, and we probably want either a Brain Freeze or a Tendrils of Agony. Uh... Okay, we're going to be taking this over one too. This is actually a gift for us. In case we want to play this, Liliana. And, uh... I'm going to take the dustbin. If someone... If the person next to us is playing that, he's a chap, he deserves it. Oh, okay, this Blood Crypt actually helps us too. <laughs> I'm firing that off. Okay, uh... Hide this dustbin. There's no way we're going to take this dustbin. All right. Uh, this pack has this pack is pretty much a blank here. The fetch land searches for the blood crypt, which is the same as this, and the overgrown tomb. So it could be a three color fixer. Uh, none of these other spells are good for us. Memory lapse, I guess, but I don't think it's good enough. The tutor, I guess. Uh, the clamp. No. This is the worst sword against us. Uh, milling out our spells is terrible since we can't possibly rebuy it. Oh, we would need a way to rebuy spells from the graveyard, like a Yaw Will or uh, Nostalgic Dreams, something like that. We're just going to take the Tamiya. 
It's going to draw us cards maybe with this minus two. It's plus is going to help us uh, buy us some time. And if we go ultimate, then I don't see how we could lose. Okay, uh, we got the mocks that we wanted. Uh, unfortunately, it's in the same plant pack as uh, Lotus Bloom, Eternal Witness, and the Palancron. Uh, Palancron with the Heartbeat generates infinite mana. <coughs> and with infinite mana, you really can't lose, can you? I mean, it, it would take a special effort for you to lose. So we're just going to take the Mox. There's no way the Mox could wheel to us. There's a chance that one of these cards could wheel to us, and we'll even gladly take one of these dual lands. Maybe we'll have something to splash white for at the time. Okay, so let's take the Mox. And uh, here we go. Here we go. And Stone Cold Nothing. Doesn't get much more Stone Cold Nothing than this. Huh. So we're going to see five more packs. I really want to upheaval. I really want more card draw. And I really, really... Oh, okay, we have restock to buy us back something for the graveyard. Ah. <sighs> And I really want an additional kill condition because let's face it, empty the warrants, not too sweet, not too sweet at all. Okay, I'm just gonna take intuition. We have a stamp caster and the restock to buy back the cards that we discard. And uh yeah. That's it. Okay. This is a disappointing pack. There's nothing that could reel to us that would make us happy. Except maybe a Mali, but we don't want to run too many counter spells in our combo deck. We're gonna take the prophetic bolt. Uh, we have enough fit ways to fix red in here, I think. And hopefully it's uh ability to dig will get us to our business spells. And uh this pack here. Oof. Alright. Uh after this pack there's gonna be three new picks. I'm pretty Disappointed. Uh, what are the three worst cards here? Chaos Warp, Encampment, and Faithless Looting, I guess? Yeah. I don't want to take the Faithless Looting. We're only splashing for it, so we're probably not going to be able to fire it off too, off too often. Just got to take the Thrag Tusk here because it gives me five life, it gives me blockers, and since it doesn't look like we're going to be able to combo fast, or at least we could stay alive, the combo's slow. Okay, uh, after this is two more packs. Unless someone counter drafted some of our storm spells, uh, we forced storm in the wrong, 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 wrong draft. Uh, the pilgrim is what I would normally take, but we have three one mana generators here. They're not really accelerating to anything special, so I think I'm just going to take Maze of Width to uh, stay alive. Go Maze of Width and uh, give us a storm spell. Come on. Okay, dokie. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Let's count the number of ways we could uh, shuffle our deck. Intuition. And solemn. Not spectacular. We could take away the winter orb. Winter orb just straight out kicks our ass. We can't be the winter orb, I think. But, uh, yeah, Pyro Class and Matthew. We're going to take the scroll rack here. And, uh, this last pack better be spectacular. I'm going to close my eyes. All right, guys, uh, please let me know if something good. Wait, what? You're not here with me? You can't see what? You can't tell me what I opened? And, oh, sweet Jesus. This was not the pack that I was looking for. Okay, uh... I could take a fetch land. We could take the Golgari route for him. But I'm going to be taking the natural order. Uh, our deck is going to have a plan B. It's going to be called Terracidon. <laughs> uh, yeah. So. We're going to have a Terracidon plan B. What's going to support our plan B more? Woodfall Primus or Master Core? Time is running out. 
Uh, I'm going to go with the Master Core. Sometimes Master Core shows up and you just can't beat it. Okay, and uh, there's a late Crucible of the World, so I guess no one's going with the Strip My Wasteland plan with the fetches and everything. Uh, I'm just going to take the Palancron. Help us generate infinite mana. Hopefully. And cheese. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the naturalize for a deck. I don't understand how a burial rights could be lasting this long. Uh, Yeah, we're gonna take the sanctuary for more card advantage. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take the looting. Wastes counter draft. And the sulfur springs. Okay, we could use the sulfur springs actually. All right, guys. Uh, I think I steered you wrong again in drafting this uh, storm deck. Looks like there is at least one mono red drafter. I think there's like a black beats drafter. There definitely is a blue draw a lot of cards and that's dirtle into nothing guy out there too. Uh, and I think that guy is the guy that messed with us the most. Uh, there's no reanimator guy. There might be some kind of pod guy, but there's no reanimator guy. Cheese, cheese and rice. Here's my good friend Jason. It's like cheese and rice. So we're going to make our piles the same as last time. The solemn wallet creature, it's going to go into a mana pile because that's what it's there for. So is the heartbeat. Uh, then we're going to do a draw pile. And while the impulse is a cantrip, not a draw. It's gonna go in there. Wow, three draw spells. That is disgusting. Okay, let's put the challenge here. Okay, then let's do our combo cards here. Well, this is actually a mana producer. 15 cards. Uh, this will help us combo. This will go into our dick pile. <coughs> the empty should go here. So that's 20 cards already. Hmm. Snapcaster is going to be in there. Uh, uh -huh. I think I want to play 16 lands again because we do have the mocks to make our 17 lands this deck doesn't feel powerful at all where's the heartbeat of springs Did we take a heartbeat of springs, guys? There we go. Jeez, can't lose that. Why the hell did that disappear there? Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to splash black for the Liliana. Which is a shame. We also have our plan B. Bring this in. Uh, one empty the wards. That's just pathetic. Is the palancron gonna be worth it? We need the heartbeat. Then Palacron. 
What's the intuition going to get us, guys? Let's do intuition for restock, snapcaster, Nothing. Six minutes to the same. I wish I had a better deck. We could intuition for these three. Am I trying too hard with this? I think I am. I think I am. Crown only combos with the heart. Okay. Well, we do have some of these uh, bounce lands, so it kind of combos with those two. I don't like the intuition. I don't like the intuition. I think I'm going to put the wall of blossoms in here. Right tusks in here. I don't know if I like the scroll back either. I don't like the scroll back. This is a tough one. So I'm going to fit the Maze of Ith in here. If we do, we're going to have only 14 mana producing lands, along with a Mox, including a Mox, I should say. Palette Crown is Instant Storm to Infinite. If I live that long. I'm just going to cut a land or else. Play the extra land. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Play 15 mana producing lands with a mox. Yep, yep, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, red, blue could help. Black, green does not help anymore since we have no Liliana. So let's need a charm. Gives us additional mana, so that's going to be. In. And black is out. Right, black is out. Liliana is out. Yeah, Liliana is out. That's it. Okay, it's rug. The other card I think I could put in <coughs> is a fire spell. The bias time. I think I'm gonna have to cut them. Uh, no dream halls. Uh, no upheaval. Not going to draw spells. Discipline. Take the scroll right now. I have to make the leaf. At least we shuffle here again. Solemn. And we could get rid of stuff with the prophetic vortex impulse. Faith is the uh, scroll rack is gonna get fired. We're gonna put the fire spot in. 
I think the Wrath of God's going to buy us more turns than anything else. Okay, let's see what MTGO suggests. Uh, four red. That seems a little high, actually. So we're going to do that two. That's six. Seven blue. Six blue here. Yeah, we're gonna up the blue can, I think. And uh, let's submit this. All right, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys for round 